Hi guys, I'm Kel and I'm talking to you about something other than black metal for a change today. Hailing from Manchester in the UK is an ambitious and diverse artist with a deadly and catching solo project called Primitive Knot. The artist does have ties with black metal though with the project's devils, but don't expect any black metal on the latest experimental industrial dark noise album, but don't rule this out because this one is definitely aligned with the darkness, penetratingly heavy and very, very good. Primitive's Knot's ultra cool and addictive recent release is the 10 track album just running just shy of an hour, Lost Wisdom, and was released through Deathbed Tapes and is now up on Bandcamp for your listening pleasure. You're in for a total wall of doom, filthy good riffs and catching beats with a strong industrial palette. Lost Wisdom was more than a satisfying listen for me, I have to say. Often hypnotic, enticingly rhythmic and properly intoxicating. Inspired by Motorhead and Sabbath and I'll even throw in sounds of vibes from Ministry here. Prim shows off crushing classic riffs that are obviously an ode to these bands and overall has a sound that is stained with a raw brutality, a big ambient turmoil and it must be listened to up loud. The perfectly distorted hard ass riffs start out with the first banger arc of transcendence. Prim's voice is obscured across the industrial sounds, deliberately set back into the production and is a psychedelic place sound across the rest of the music. It's so clever and enticing and it's very obvious that Prim's idea was to create riff driven goodness. Space Junk is another highly rhythmic track, very likeable number. The vocal placement just continued to capture me here. Prim is a super cool cat, you know, and I felt like this track really oozed his charisma and his mood, and possibly one of my favorites off the album. The drone in this track was just killer. While uh, Highway Lover, the one that you can probably hear now, is heavily channeling Motorhead with Prim's distinctive twists and turns that he's just creating such a signature sound with. The track Lost Wisdom has that heavier sludge doom going on before moving into a heavy primitive riff driven sound and yes I call them primitive riffs. This man can riff Wow Signal, a track that moves into heavy ass industrial journey with a display of mix up of beats that was so enticing. It's a dark cracker of a track and I absolutely loved the vocal style. It's murky and purposely vague and overall the ambience of this track is just unstable and galactic. Solace is one of the more laid back tracks of this album. However, it still manages to lure your attention and mesmerize with its transful soundscapes. The track Doomstruck shows off that heavy industrial noise that this project just manages to own so well with super cool guitar work and hefty low tone riffs bringing in the doom hard here. My favorite track I'm gonna call it is Skelter Helter. I found myself in such a trance like state with this one. The repetitiveness of those riffs, the sliding strums and ethereal sounds that were just layered over the canvas of it all and Prim's vocals distantly executed in the production more than ever here and it just worked so well for me. It's an erotic and spicy dark listen, but then I heard the track Relentless and I felt as if I'd stepped into this lured seedy underground sleaze club and I was hook lined and sinker into this sound too. The album tunnels to its end with the track Relentless, which was such a fiery listen with heavily distorted guitars bringing in the darkness hard here with such sullen vibes. And then it finalizes with the track Set the Controller for Oblivion, the perfect Perfect ending and uh, this was a spaced out ride a great grand finale to a ridiculously good album but there is a bonus track which is a mixed track of wow signal and it was very very good let me tell you this album is mysteriously atmospheric industrious clever and completely froth worthy I've been following Prim's work for some time and this album definitely didn't disappoint so go and check out his discography because it's pretty impressive as lost wisdom go and take a listen try something different it's on Bandcamp the physical copies have sold out through Deathbed Tapes. I'm not surprised whatsoever. However, Primitive Knot does have some coming his way that he can sell directly. So if you do like this album, please hit him up through his uh, Facebook page or his Instagram band page if you're interested. And to Primitive Knot, super listen. I love your work, you know I do. And this was great. I'm Kelly T and this has been my Albums of the Week.